in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travel on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarim Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your exceptional support to make this channel a grand success. We are a family partner. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, today I'm going to discuss oil and gas productions, explorations, productions, upstream, midstream, refining and petrochemicals. So this is my first lecture. So I have a plan to deliver a more than 300 lectures next couple of years. Before my lecture, I used to read a Quranic verse. Kala Rabbi Shrali Sadri Vajas Sarli Amri Wahlal Ukdatam Millisani Yaf Kahu Kauli Allahumma Rabbi Zidni Ilma My Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and lose a knot from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Allahumma Rabbi Zidni Ilma O Allah, advance me in my knowledge and a true understanding. Okay, from my next page, I'm going to run a complete a trail my lecture number one on oil and gas production. Okay, my lecture is dedicated to faculty members and student departments of chemical environment engineering at GCT and NFCIT Multan, in particularly late Professor Dr. Saeed Ahmed, rest in peace, and Professor Dr. of Zalak, former Vice Chancellor and pioneer of NFCIT Multan, Pakistan former VC at NND UET, Karachi, and Professor uh, Dr. Tahri Maran Qureshi, Master of Organ Chemistry. Number three, faculty member and student, departments of petroleum and chemical engineering, Texas a and College Station and Qatar campus. Faculty members and student, department of chemical engineering, gas processing center and industrial engineering at Qatar University. Management and operation and maintenance, staff members of Parker Fertilizers and OGDC Pakistan, in particular Kadarpur Gas Processing Field, Aghodki in Pakistan. Last but not least, I'm very much indebted and pay my deep gratitude to senior executive management and operation and maintenance staff members at Qatar Petroleum from 1997 to 2020. With great privilege and honor, I have completed 24 years of my glorious career at different levels and positions at Qatar Petroleum. Thank you very much for everyone for your unprecedented support and glee on me. This is my future plan to deliver uh, more than 300 lectures on oil and gas productions. Today we are going to discuss introductions, facilities and processes, reservoir and wellhead, upstream facilities, midstream facilities, refining facilities, petrochemicals, utility systems, conventional and unconventional resource environment effects. What is the ultimate goal? Shaping the clean and sustainable global energy delivery and probably we will deliver to more than 300 actually next couple of years. Okay, this is a very important slide. It demonstrates my personal contributions for 24 years with Qatar Petroleum. Remember, all my career I moved against the wind and everything I took as a challenge and I never accept the defeat. Okay, by using artificial intelligence, a following in-house systems developed and implemented successful without any external internal vendor support led to save million dollar a QR for Qatar Petroleum. First, I have developed uh, and published Operation Excellence 20 initiatives, framework and TRs. Number two, develop and implemented a flaring surveillance model to monitor and measure a flaring incident in a real-time operation, whereas it captures each molecule of hydrocarbon released from the plant due to any reason. Number three, develop and implemented a gas lift management system to overcome gas lift injection deficiency and added eight to 10,000 barrel oil every day. Number four, gas lift injection and gas balance dashboard developed. Number fifth, developed and implemented a chemical surveillance model to monitor and measure required chemical 
At each injection point, Dad read Cohesion Inhibitor optimized and saved more than 30% capital consumptions. Number six, actionable department voice production dashboard. Number seven, actionable OMD dashboard linked with CU dashboard. Number eight, develop implement a power water injection management system in real time operations. Number nine, develop and customize CPM control performance monitor to optimize and enhance equipment performance in order to achieve zero trip incidents. Number ten, develop and implement real time engineering workstation to optimize equipment performance and to address all types of operation bottlenecks and process control issues. Number eleven, develop and implement a real time equipment performance monitoring systems. Number twelve, a long list of e-reporting systems to save a man hour where his time is money. Number 13, a long list of well testing model for crude and recovery performance enhancement. Please send me email if you have any question or query about these systems. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, oil and gas production introduction lecture number one will demonstrate oil and gas productions and from next slide I'm going to give you key takeaway points from my lecture number one. Okay key takeaway points lecture number one first we will discuss purpose of oil and historically approach a uh, first well drill 1859 oil replaced with other fuels gas transportation automobiles and advanced consumers number six chemical derived petroleum products number seven conversion and importance of synthetic materials these are my key takeaway points from lecture number one i'm going to discuss purpose of oil oil shallow reservoir and crude oil and gas what it basically demonstrate here Oil has been used for lightning purpose for many thousands of years. In areas where oil is found in shallow reservoirs, seeps of crude oil or gas may naturally develop, and some oil could simply be collected from seepage of tar ponds. The next year, the historical approach here oil and gas seeps ignited famous rockel and boil waters what it basically demonstrate here the first year historically we know the tales of internal fires where oil and gas seeps ignited and burned one example is the site where the famous rock of delphi was built around 1000 bc and by the sources from 500 BC describe how the Chinese are used a natural gas to boil water. Okay, it also produced their goods and service at low cost or any combination of these factors. Now we are going to discuss a first well drill 1859 here and the sole purpose to find oil and then spark international research. Okay, Edmund Gregg drilled the first successful oil wells with the sole purpose of finding oil. The drill well was located in the middle of quite form in northern western of Pennsylvania and sparked the international search for industrial use of petroleum. Okay, these wells were shallow by modern standards of less than 50 meter deep, but they produce large quantity of oils. It was seen that the Oil Creek Valley and Flip Well in initially produced a 4,000 barrels a per day. Okay, on my next slide, we will discuss how we can come up with the overproduction. Now we are going to discuss overproduction. What is basically a demonstration? First, overproduction, import wells flooding the market and its consequences and then what is the value of barrels in those days our production was something to be avoided when the empire well was completed in september 1861 it produced a 3000 barrels per day flooding the market and the price of oil 
plummeted to 10 cents a barrel. In some ways, we see the sum effect today when new shale gas fields in US are constant by the capacity of the existing oil and gas pipeline network. It results in bottleneck and low prices at the production sites. Secondly, there are a different size of barrel. In a background, at this time, a barrel size has not been standardized and it was confusing to sell the oil $5 per barrel Today, a barrel is equal to 159 liters. On the next slide, we are going to discuss oil had replaced most other fuels. Okay, now we are going to discuss oil replaced with other fuels. First, a second here, the industry developed. And number three, ships driven by oil and automobile industry developed at the end of 19th century and quickly adopted oil as a fuel. Oil had replaced most other fuels for motorized transport. The automobile industry developed at the end of 19th century and quickly adopted oil as a fuel. Gasoline engines were essential for designing a successful aircraft. Ships driven by oil could move up to twice as fast as their coal-powered counterparts. A vital a military advantage also gained. Gas was burned off or left in the ground. Okay, on my next slide, we will discuss how the gas can be transported in 1821. Okay, gas transportation in 1821. Okay, first, gas transportation, welding technique, a pipe rolling and metallurgical advancement. Despite attempts at gas transportation as far back as 1821, it was not until after World War II that welding technique, pipe rolling and metallurgical advancement allowed for the construction of reliable long distance pipelines, creating a natural gas industry boom. At the same time, the petrochemical industry with its new plastic materials quickly increased productions. Even now, gas production is gaining a market share as LNG, liquid, fluid, and natural gas provides an economical way of transporting gas from even the remotest sites. On my next slide, what we'll discuss further, what are the more advanced consumers as far as the oil and gas are concerned? Okay, now we're going to discuss more advanced consumers. First, more advanced consumers, marketable products, crude oil frictions, and value shifted to upstream products. Then uh, what we have understand that the conventional refinery produced 10 to 40% gasoline from the crude oil, and with advanced refinery, more than 70% gasoline recovered from the crude. Okay. It was necessary to improve and standardize marketable product. Refining was a necessity to divide the crude in fractions that could be blended to precise specifications. As value shifted from refining to upstream product, it became even more essential for refineries to increase high value fuel yield from a variety of crudes. From 10 to 40 percent gasoline for crude a century ago as modern refining can get up to 70% gasoline from the same quality crude through a variety of advanced reforming and cracking process. Okay, now my next slide, we will discuss how the chemical derived from the petroleum or natural gas. Petrochemicals are an essential part of the chemical industry today. Petrochemistry is a fairly young industry. It only started to grow in the 1940 more than 80 years after the drilling of a first commercial oil wells. Before then, it was a tentative experimental sector, starting with the basic material, which you're going to demonstrate on my next. Okay, now we are going to demonstrate a chemical derived from petroleum or natural gas. Petrochemicals are an essential part of the chemical industry today. Petrochemistry is the fairly a young industry. It only started to grow in 1940, more than 80 years after the drilling of the first commercial oil well. During World War II, the demand for the synthetic material 
to replace a costly and sometimes less efficient product caused the petrochemical industry to dwell into a major player in modern economy and society. Before then, it was tentative experimental sectors started with a basic material. What is the basic material? The first synthetic rubber was developed in 1900 and backlight the first petrochemical derives of plastic in 1907 and number three first petrochemical solvent in 1920 and polyesters in 1930 was developed. Okay, further development advancement happened and moved to incredible variety of areas. First, it was household goods, kitchen, appliances, textile, furniture. Second, a medicine, hot, a pacemakers, transfusions, bags. And number four, a leisures, running shoes and computers. Number four, highly specialized fields like archaeology and crime detections was developed by using petrochemical products. Okay. On my next slide, we will further discuss economic, economical viability of the petroleum industry. Okay, now we are going to discuss economical viability of petroleum industry. First, authorsense, shale oil, coal bed methane, synthetic addition. And then it link with the increase of competition and ever increasing convention and unconventional resources. Okay, what it basically demands to. With oil price of 100 dollars a barrel are more even more difficult to access sources have become economical viable. The sources include authorities in Venezuela and Canada, shale oil and gas in US and developed elsewhere, coal bed methane and synthetic or diesel from a natural gas and biodiesels and bioethanol from biological sources have seen a dramatic increase over the last many years. These sources may eventually more than triple the potential reserves of hydrocarbon fuels. Beyond that, there are even more exotic sources such as methane hydrates that um, some experts claim can double available sources once more. With increased consumption and ever-increasing conventional and unconventional sources, the challenge become and one of the availability but of sustainable use of fossil fuels in face of rising environment impacts that range from local pollution to global climate effect okay my conclusion page today what we discuss purpose of oil historical approach first well drilled in 1859 over productions gas transportations advanced consumers and petrochemicals economic liabilities. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, now my next lecture, facilities and processes, we'll discuss exploration, upstream, midstream, refining, and petrochemicals. Next couple of weeks. So references, World Energy Order 2013, US Geological Survey, US Department, Schellenberg Oil Fields, International Energy Agency, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, Margin Well Commissioning, Compass Manual, State Hall, Norsic, Story of Oil in Pennsylvania, Air, Liquid Gas, Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from the Wellhead to Burnett. Together, everyone achieve more. Please don't hesitate. Send me your feedback and comments at t.masood.dr at bath.edu. Please stay at home, stay safe, inspired, and blessed. Thank you very much for your precious time.